everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Amanda if this is your first time here welcome to my beauty entertainment channel absolutely absolutely so if you like to follow me on social media here's my Twitter and my Instagram go have fun go enjoy peruse etc while you're here you can check out some of my recent videos I posted a video yesterday I posted a collab with my friend Lauren we um, watch instant instant influencers so you don't have to so yeah I posted a reaction um, review of Instant Influencer. And then before that, I posted an Everything Wrong with Hannah Montana. And then before that, I posted a video talking about new releases, you know, the usual. So that's that. Let me get that out of the way because it's it's gotten worse. Um, okay, so I had a video planned for today and I'm going to do that video as part of this video but it's also part of a larger issue not even issue just like commotion there's been a lot of commotions dealing with um the charts recently i think it has to do with quarantine i think quarantine is making people go a little bit more crazy than usual a little bit more crazy than they already were going before and it's led to some serious serious issues so where do i begin so what's going on so we can start all the way back at the beginning i'll start with what i was planning to do today it's all related to charts so ariana grande and justin bieber released a collaboration together called stuck with you and it's a cute song or whatever ariana out saying the hell out of him but i digress <laughs> i won't get into that so they released this collaboration i think about two weeks ago by now and it did well but that's not even where this um whole battle situation begins so they released this song it's streaming it's cute nothing's the issue there's no issue and then somehow this candy colored convicted felon cons his way out of prison how well apparently pedophilia is not taken seriously in this country because that's not even what he went to prison for i what could possibly go wrong by letting someone like that out of prison? But well, people like to focus on the snitch part. People like to fo focus on the fact they don't like to bring attention that the reject My Little Pony extra pled guilty to use of a child in a sexual performance in 2015. He also threatened to kill his pregnant girlfriend in 2016, but everyone just cares that he's a snitch. It's not the issue of, oh, um, pedophile oh um attempted murder none of that it's the issue that he's a snitch y'all need to get better priorities not y'all but like people that support him really need to find better priorities in and of their hearts i need to think you need to find some morals anyways so this scour on the face of humanity is somehow released on jail and then goes on instagram live and just demolishes the instagram live um record with two million dumbasses watching a tie-dyed fellow dumbass doing I don't know what because I wasn't watching because guess what I have morals and human decency do y'all not understand by watching him I know it's just as simple as an Instagram live you're supporting his behavior you're saying all your behavior is okay it's fine all of it all of it is fine how interesting how interesting to me anyways so besides that, the um, Care Bear villain decides to release a song called Goober, Gooba, Boog, I don't know and I don't care. So now, so, so like, he releases this song out of nowhere and pe because people have no morals, they start listening to this song. And then he releases a music video and apparently by when I wrote this, like 186 million people have watched it. Um, I don't believe that for a second, bots. Anyways. So now there's talk and people are like, this man is going to get a number one. And people were like, ah, 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 not on my watch. Not on my watch either. I was part of that. I said not on my watch. So now, now there's a battle for number one, a battle between Ariana Grande and the candy colored convicted felon. Do we see issue? I see issue. I see issue. I see serious issue there. Listen, I don't even like Stuck With You that much. I think it's a cute song. I don't think it's really anything special, but I was screaming the hell out of it. You were not, you were not about to give a number one to the pedophile. You were not. I take place, I took place, um, it's been a while since I took place in a streaming party. I did one for Savage, did one for Say So, and then I did one for this. Like, I've been, I've been, I've been going back to my Stan roots as of recently with all this commotion whatever so then this rainbow shit skittle starts he starts exploiting models and saying that he'll give you access to their only fans if you buy this song 
I don't know. I don't know. And he compares this behavior. He says his behavior is okay, but he compares his behavior to Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber, whose name is never uttered once. Justin Bieber's name is never even spoken of once, even though it's a collaboration. He made the song just as she did, whatever. And he compares it to them making bundles, which we have to get, we, you have to get over it at some point. Everyone does bundles now. You can talk about whether it's like um, appropriate or not, but everyone does it now. So we're, we're gonna have to move past the debacle and the debauchery, okay? We're gonna have to move past it, get over it, all right? So he's talking all this snot, talking all this snap, talking, what happened, Daniel? What happened, Daniel? What happened, you lost? He lost. He lost and he lost badly. He didn't he didn't go number one. He didn't go number two. Booger song debuted at number three on Billboard. Woo! Woo! Shouldn't have been on there to begin with. But you know, um, people don't have morals, people don't have um, empathy, people don't have, I don't know, human decency. So the song was on there for some reason. A pedophile made this song. Anyways, so he lost his mind, started accusing everybody of fraud. And the gag is he's only accusing Ariana of fraud, of lying and stealing and like spending $30,000 on one card when it has been proven time and time again, you can only buy four copies of a song with one credit card. Get your head out of your ass, Daniel. Even though this is an entire duet. This is an entire duet song. Justin Bieber's name is never uttered once. Why misogyny? There you go. That's the, that's the final answer. That's why people, the blame is placed on Ariana Grande, who minds her business with her little rat dog, ponytail, and angelic voice living in her mega mansion. The blame is somehow placed, placed on her. Misogyny. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Y'all hate women. The world hates women. The world hates women to succeed. Why is no blame? Also, crickets, crickets for Justin. Cri and I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to drag Justin, but I, why did it take so long for you to speak up, Justin? It took a long, like Daniel was saying, was running his mouth for a long time before Justin was to say anything. I hope it was because he was drafting a statement, maybe because he was like, I don't want to speak on the fly. I hope that was the reason why. Took him quite a while. It was crickets for Justin, and it was also crickets for Scooter, the manager, the one who would actually be manipulating the chart, not the actual artist. How interesting is that? How interesting is that? How interesting is... And Daniel somehow expects us to believe that he wasn't tripping over backwards to get his booger song to a measly number three. We saw what you were doing. We saw the we saw the foolishness and the ridiculousness and the lies, the cheat, the deceit that you were doing for your song to get to number three. And of course, my girl, Miss, you know, Miss Grande, Miss Ponytail, clears him in a classy, concise statement on Instagram, clears him. She could have been rude. She could have been rude. She should have been rude. But class is a virtue. Class is something that not everyone has. She said, I'm gonna give you a classy read. Exactly. And that she did. That's why she's my girl. See, you talk all the smack and guess what happened, number three. Oop. All right, now we're at today because this happened today so the charts um are causing even more mess so that happened like a couple of days ago it's thursday now so that happened like on monday so today my chipotle woke me up today at four in the morning and of course she when i eat chipotle she controls my life so i went to the toilet right so i'm sitting on the toilet and i decided to check twitter to see if like anyone has tweeted any mess at like four in the, it's four in the morning it was four in the morning so I checked Twitter just to see if anyone's reading anything messy in the middle of the night and I'm like, I'm bored. I'm like just sitting here. I walk into a dumpster fire at four in the morning. I walk into a dumpster fire and the dumpster fire is still going on right now. As I film this, I thought we, I don't Y'all's fave, not mine, Never mind. has decided to go on a rant on her typewriter in the middle of the damn night. Your fave, not mine, post this statement in the middle of the night um, on her Instagram. As of 12 p.m. when I wrote this all down, it was still there. I'm pretty sure it's still there now. I think she's standing behind it. I think she's just gonna ignore all the criticism behind it. Okay. So we're gonna unpack this statement here today. I have my iPad. 
the reason, well, I think I'm gonna put it on the screen over here, so let me scoot over. The reason why I'm going off this statement, because I don't want anyone in my comments saying I'm grasping at straws. I don't want anybody in my comments saying I'm going off of false evidence because I'm using the evidence she so adamantly volunteered. She didn't need to post this. She didn't need to post this at four in the morning like a coward. She didn't need to do this, but now I have to talk about it. Do you see? Do you see? And also maybe if you don't understand like why this statement is incredibly tone deaf, maybe this video will help you because I'm about to annotate this. Maybe if you don't understand, but also it's not my job to explain anything to anybody. Let's get that clear. Google is completely free. There are so many articles about microaggressions and hoity-toity white women and privilege you could go check out i don't need to tell you anything so like if you don't think i'm explaining anything enough go to google you're already on the internet right now go to google it's not my job all right also before i start i could i cannot name i could not name three lana del rey songs with a gun to my head so i have no horse in this battle i have no dog and i have nothing i am completely neutral i know summertime sadness so I'm not a fan and I don't hate her because I don't know anything about her. I'm just going off of what I have on my iPad. This, whoa, I'm going off of what I have on my iPad, which is this statement, all right? So we start off, I'm gonna put it on the screen, I think. I'm gonna remember, I'm gonna remember this time. So we start off, question for the culture. What culture? What culture, Elizabeth? I love government names. What culture? Elizabeth, are you on a radio show? Question for the culture. Are you on a radio show? All right, let's take a step back. So we're in paragraph one. So first she starts off by name dropping a bunch of people and I'll circle back to that. It's a very interesting group because there are some um, names in here which um, should not be in the same sentence as other names in here. Um, anyways, so. She starts off by name dropping a blah, 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 blah. She says, now that all these people have had number ones with songs about being sexy, wearing no clothes, fucking and cheating, etc. Can I please go back to singing about being embodied, feeling beautiful by being in love, even if the relationship is not perfect or dancing for money or whatever I want without being crucified or saying that I'm glamorizing abuse. Um. I don't know who stopped you. I'm not sure who stopped you from singing about the eye. Didn't she release an album like last year? Child, what's stopping you from making another one? I don't, I'm, um, sorry, I need to sit properly in, improperly because I can't sit in a chair correctly. Who stopped you from making music? Hmm. Hmm. So listen, I don't know about anything about Lana Del Rey. I don't anything about her music, but I do know that the white moms, white like the um, 90, 77, 77 cents brigade, they don't like her because her music apparently glamorizes abuse. Um, I again have only listened to Summertime Sadness. Um, I saw some lyrics. People were posting lyrics on Twitter this morning. It ain't looking too good. Um, but the thing is, okay. Just like the white women don't like her, but all these other women that she named, white women don't like them either. So I guess you have that in common. So let me go on to paragraph two, right? So she says, um, blah, 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 saying that I glamorize abuse when in reality, I'm just a glamorous person in an untailored Dillard's dress on a red carpet. That was rude, Amanda. At least I acknowledge that it was rude. All right, at least I acknowledge that it was rude. But yeah, glamor, sure. Anyways, her persona, is glamorous. This facade, this persona that she's taken on, which people eat up, which cherry emoji Twitter eats up, is glamorous. I don't know about Elizabeth. I don't know if she's actually glamorous, whatever. So that's paragraph two. Paragraph three. This third paragraph could have been or should have been the entire statement. Let's, with all of the topics women are finally allowed to explore, I just wanna say over the last 10 years, I think it's pathetic that my minor lyrical exploration detailing my sometimes submissive or passive roles in my relationships has often made people say that I've set women back hundreds of years. Why didn't you just say that? I think this is her entire point. I think this is her entire point of the article. Why wouldn't you just say that? Why did we need a five paragraph tied format S? We didn't need that. If this was your point, why not just use this paragraph? 
Now people don't know your point because you took the most ridiculous and unnecessary way to get there. Interesting. That's paragraph three. And then it gets worse. It gets worse. So she starts off this by name dropping a bunch of people and then making a point that they have had number ones, which she has not have had number ones. Very interesting way to start off a statement supposedly about you talking about other people and their success and accomplishments. Very interesting. So paragraph four, let this be clear. I am not, not a feminist. Okay, so is this a double negative or is this her really stressing how much of a not feminist she is? Most people have taken it to believe it's the latter because with the rest of the statement, it, it's clear to say that she doesn't consider herself a feminist. Okay, okay, Elizabeth, good luck with that. It gets worse. There has to be a, there has to, I'm, there has to be a place in feminism for women who look and act like I know you're fucking lying. Elizabeth Woolridge Grant is telling me there is no place in feminism meant for her. Elizabeth Woolridge Grant, that's her government name, is telling me there is no space in feminism for her. All I can honestly say to that is lie. All I can do is laugh because have you stepped outside? Have you been outside? Have you been to a women's march, Lana? They only care about you. They don't care about me. They only care about you. Have you heard feminism spoken about on TV? They only care about you. Have you, they only care about people that look like you. Mainstream feminism is for white women. Mainstream feminism literally ignores the intersections, whoa, ignores the intersections that other, all other women face to put you, Elizabeth Woolridge Grant, on a pedestal. That's what mainstream feminism is. Wu Chow. It ignores the intersections and challenges that every, that women have to, non, cis, straight, white, rich, white woman have to face for pussy hats. Y'all wear the pussy hats for no reason. Nobody asked you to. Um, that's mainstream feminism. You have many seats at that table, Lana. You have many seats at that table. This was tone deaf. See, do you see, do you, Then she says, we're not, we're not done. We're, we're nowhere near being done. So the kind of woman who says no, but men hear yes. Okay. The kind of women who are slated mercilessly for being their authentic, delicate selves. Let's go back to the name she dropped at the very beginning of her statement. Cause She's saying, because I'm, again, this is the evidence that I'm using, what she voluntarily put on the internet. She's saying that she's different from these women because she's the only one who is, who are being slated mercilessly, mercilessly, mercilessly for being their authentic, delicate selves. I know you're lying. I have, do we need to go? Okay. I think it's time to go. I think it's time to go through the names because every single, almost every single name that she mentioned, those people have been vilified or crucified in some way for being unapologetically themselves. Let's start Nicki Minaj. The first, the, she says Nicki Minaj and then has the nerve to put herself in a separate category of women who are being crucified. Really? Nicki Minaj, the woman who just got her first Billboard number one 15 seconds ago, despite, despite being Nicki Minaj. Hmm. Hmm. 
Are you sitting here and telling me you were unaware of how the public has been treating Nicki Minaj for the past decade? Are you been living under a rock, Elizabeth? I don't know. Do you not remember anything? Anything from the past decade? Um, Anaconda? Do we not? No, do, 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 I remember. I was like, what, 14? I remember. They were trying to get her out of here. The mothers, the, the same people coming through were trying to get her completely out of here. For singing about anacondas. I'm, I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit con Are you not confused? Because I'm a bit confused myself. Then she does Beyonce. I know, I know you're lying. Were you dead for the lemonade era? Were you just not alive for the lemonade era? Were you not alive when Beyonce was called a drug dealer's whore for wearing leotards and singing about having sex with her husband? She was called a drug dealer's whore for that. Her entire le they were pro they were protest of her lemonade era. They were entire protest. You haven't gotten a crumb of that backlash. You haven't gotten a crumb of that unnecessary vilification and crucifixion. Not a crumb of it. But somehow you're better than these people. I'm gonna get a headache. I already have a headache. We see this even in a, on a smaller scale every single day on Twitter. When Beyonce's name is thrown into comparisons, arguments that make no type of sense. Beyonce was compared to Michael Jordan for some goddamn reason. Crucified every day on the internet for no reason. Always people trying to undermine her talent and success and nobody else's. And you're somehow more scrutinized than her? See, now I'm scratching my head because I'm genuinely confused. I'm genuinely confused. Next, she said Kalani. First of all, I didn't know Kalani had a number one. I had no idea. She doesn't. Okay, anyways. Um, pretty sure Kalani was hospitalized due to the inaccurate and heavy criticism she received due to her music and her personal life. When have you gotten a crumb of that? When have you gotten a crumb of that, Elizabeth? Next, Cardi B. I have my issues with Cardi B, but the fact that she was a stripper is always being thrown in her face in a negative way about three times a day. What's What's not working? Are some screws loose? I really don't understand how this statement even made it past the typewriter. I don't understand because it was written on a type. I don't understand how this, I don't understand how this happened. Then she goes on to say, okay, the kind of women who get their own stories and voices taken away from them by stronger women or by men who hate women. Think she remembered what name she dropped at the beginning when she was writing this part. I genuinely don't think she remembered because you named some of the top black female artists in the world whose very public careers have been scrutinized from day one and you're saying you're the special one? I don't understand. I don't understand Elizabeth. I really don't. I don't that doesn't make any sense to me. Like one of my teachers in high school used to go on 15 minute rants like every other week calling Beyonce a whore. Just because, just as a just because. And I'm, I'm supposed to feel bad for Lana Del Rey. Okay, anyways. And do you see how the third paragraph's point is now completely obsolete by this point? Because she just, she made her point in the third paragraph and then she shat on it by comparing herself to other people who I don't know in what world would be, be, be comparing Lana Del Rey and Beyonce. In what world would we be doing that? I guess in the quarantine. In the world of quarantine, we think it's appropriate to compare ourselves to Beyonce and Nicki Minaj. What's going on? Whatever. Then, we're not done. She ends the statement. I'm not reading all this part because it's a hunk of junk. She ends the statement talking about, I'm sad because I'm sad. I'm, that's what the end of the statement says is I'm sad. And because she said that people have stopped her from making music, um, nobody stopped you. That's the thing. Not a soul stopped you from making this music. 
No one stopped even making the cherry emoji, cherry emoji, cigarette smelling, convertible driving music. Nobody has stopped you. Nobody told you to stop because nobody cares. Just like nothing has stopped all these other artists from making music despite the backlash, unjustified backlash they have gotten for, the pat for their entire careers. Nothing has stopped everyone else from making music. What am I, what? 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 And we could even go back into it and say, People who have done worse, people who have the Candyland Dung Beetle, I was talking about before, still makes music. We don't want it. I don't want it. I, I don't, I don't, I don't like people like what people are still listening to his music for some reason, unbeknownst to me. Unbeknownst to me, people are still listening to his music. And this is the thing, I'm not saying she doesn't have the right to be mad at the backlash. I'm not saying that. She absolutely has the right to be angry at the fact that people are always, that people are talking about her in this way. So the third paragraph is saying, why didn't you stop there? Why are you now comparing, why are you now bringing in people, who, why are you now comparing yourselves to others where you don't compare nor compete? Why are you now comparing your struggle to people, to artists who not only had to deal with misogyny, which is what you're talking about, you're talking about misogyny, they also have to deal with racism. Oh, she doesn't understand how intersectional feminism works or intersections at all. That solved that question. I was about to ask the question, why don't you understand? But she clearly doesn't understand how intersections work because not only do they have to go through misogyny, also racism. Hmm, Lana. Lana, y'all, this is y'all's fave. I told you to come collect your fave at four in the morning. I told you to do that. And then she goes on to say that she paved the way for people to be singing about like um, abuse and like being submissive. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy, Elizabeth? You paved the way for who? You paved the way for who and or what? Who did you pave the way for for singing stuff? What? What? It's very, this is my thing. I'm gonna put my Apple Pencil down. It's very interesting when she starts off the statement with now these people have gone number one and now it's time for me, the good woman, to go number one because I don't sing about stuff like that. What? 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 Are you, are you crazy? Of course she's crazy. Is that what this is truly about? Because why would you bring up the fact that they have gotten number ones if your argument is that people should leave you alone? Why are you bringing them into the conversation? Is that what this is truly about but you don't have a number one, Lana? Is that what this truly is about? Because that's really, really sad. Your entire point is the third paragraph. Why not just post the third paragraph and leave everyone else's name out of your mouth. I don't understand. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. You got nominated for album of the year. You're clearly successful, but I noticed Billie Eilish, the girl who won the category is nowhere near this statement. So what are you angry at? What are you mad at? I don't sing about cheating, so I'm special. I don't sing about wearing no clothes, so I'm special. I'm special. No, you're not. Are you seeing the I'm not like other girls mentality? Are you seeing I'm not like the rest of these sluts? Am I the only non-slut in the room? Are you seeing that? Are you seeing that mentality from the statement? Those ideals are the foundation of the statement and it's disturbing. She could have just put her third paragraph and left us the hell alone. Four in the morning, four in the morning, four in the morning. It's funny, the foundation of the statement is rooted in I'm not like the rest of these heathens. I'm not like the rest of these heathens so y'all should give me a number one. What? And it's funny 
how all the heathens that she named were black, and then she threw in Ariana Grande and Camila Cabello for a little razzle dazzle, a little sprinkle of Caucasian. For what? For what? Everyone else you named was black except for those two. That's so interesting to me, Lana. That's so interesting to me. And let's also now unpack the supposed sexual deviant tracks that have gone number one from the deviant heathen, shall we? So she says that Ariana Grande has now, she says, I'm sorry, let me, let me go around. They've had number ones with songs about being sexy, wearing no clothes, fucking cheating. Ariana's three number ones are Seven Rings, Thank You Next, and Stuck With You. Seven Rings is about being wealthy, Thank You Next is about leaving an ex, and Stuck With You is about being stuck with your partner in quarantine. Where do you see being sexy, wearing no clothes, fucking cheating, etc.? Quickly. Quickly. None of her number ones even have to do with sex. Then we have um, Camille Cabello. Y'all know my feelings about her? I don't know why her and Beyonce are in the same sentence. I don't know why her and any of these people are in the same sentence, but I will ignore that for right now. So I guess she's talking about Senorita. Um, that song is not sexual at all. Camila Cabello is a pretty PG artist. She was talking about My Oh My with the baby, which my mother doesn't love him. My, what about that is sexual deviance? Being sexy, wearing no clothes, fucking cheating. Hmm. Seems like she's just throwing in some names, huh? Interesting. Doja Cat has had this number one for 15 and a half seconds. Why don't you say so? Didn't even notice the punches start to roll with being sexy, wearing no clothes, fucking cheating. Where? She's had this number one for literally about 15 and a half seconds. And in comes the peanut gallery. They don't just, they are there singing about being sexy, wearing no clothes, fucking and cheating. But I'm special because I don't sing about those things. I have another one. My pussy tastes like Pepsi Cola. Wait, that's her lyric. How interesting is that? So what's the truth? What's the truth? What is the truth? I am not like other girls. I don't, that doesn't fly here. It doesn't, never has. That won't get you the number one. That won't get you the number one. I'm not like other girls, so you guys should love me. You need to release music that people want to hear if you want to go number one. Or just cheat your way to the top like everyone else. Like, come on. Like, what's what's not clicking, guys? What's not, what's not, what's, where's the PR team is the fundamental of this story. What's going on? I know we're in quarantine. I don't understand how this was posted. I don't understand how this got passed. And I, she probably didn't send it to nobody. That's why this got posted. Really? All, all of these paragraphs, all of these paragraphs, all of this blah, 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 for what? What is your point? Your point is the third paragraph, but I can't even say that's your point because you said all this other stuff that completely negates your point and I don't care about it anymore. Because now you've put your thing, you're supposed to be telling me if they can do it, I should be able to do this, right? You're supposed to be using your version of feminism for this, but you're saying that these people are doing, are being bad being bad and I'm not being bad so I should be better. <coughs> what? <coughs> Let me sum up this um, statement for you. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. Let me sum up this entire thing for you. I am white woman and I am sad. I am damsel in distress because white women are I am white woman and I want number one. I am white woman and I am better than these other women, none of whom which make the same style of music as her, interesting. So I deserve what they have gotten despite the fact that the odds are actually stacked against them and not me. I deserve it. I am white woman, hear me roar. Like she's on a damn soapbox. What is this? What is this? 
It's degrading to me. Here's the thing. I never attacked her music in this entire video, ever. I said I wouldn't do it, I could have. That would have been pointless. I could very well go for her music and her voice. I won't do that. I am going with the evidence given to me at hand because she doesn't want me to go there. So I know people actually really do like her music. It was just me personally. I couldn't really get into it. I like Summertime Sadness. I like that song. But I feel like everyone likes that song. So like I'm not really special. I'm not special. Oh, you're not special. Okay. Okay, I sound like Miranda saying the woo chow. Anyway, I'm not, I could have come at her. I could have come at her. No, I simply used the evidence she presented to me at three in the morning. I simply used what she presented to me voluntarily. No one punched this out of her. No one beat this out of her. She sat in a typewriter and typed this at three, four in the morning and presented it to the audience. If you believe in this so strongly, Elizabeth, why not post it at the start of business hours? Why post it at three in the morning? Coward? Oh, wait, sorry. Three in the morning, how interesting. How interesting. I truly need to know what she's so angry about. Is it the Grammy loss? Because again, Billy was nowhere in this statement, so it's not the Grammy loss. It's very ill-timed, especially, look at who's been dominating the charts as of late, very ill-timed. Even if she had no intention, some people are gonna be like, okay, stop making everything about race. You guys invented um, these power structures, so, Everything is related to race. Everything, whether you like it or not, everything is related to race, no matter what you think, no matter what you believe, all right? Stop making everything about race. It applies. It is very interesting how this happened all of a sudden, a couple weeks after four black women were the top, were one and two. If she was, she was really tough, the last, when was the last time she released music? I'm pretty sure it was last year. Hmm, sorry, I should check this before. Lana Del Rey. Um, popular release. See discography. Her last release was Norman fucking Rockwell in 2019. Why didn't she release this statement back then? Because that's when the criticism would have been because that's when she was releasing music. Why wasn't this statement released last year? Why did it come all of a sudden after these people that she named had finally, especially Nicki Minaj, finally, after decade, gotten number one? Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me. It's an interesting timing. It's an interesting timing. I'm not saying that's why she did it. I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't there sitting with her in the typewriter in her dungeon. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. But it is interesting timing. She hasn't released music in a year. However, this is now coming out. And she ends it with her album that is coming out when? In like September. Why this statement now? Why now? Oh. Nikki just went number one. Doja just went number one. 15 and a half seconds ago. 15 and a half seconds past. White woman, ah, 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 too many black people on the chart. Ah, 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 ah. Reel that back in. Interesting. It's quite interesting to me. Wow, yeah. And now y'all want to use Azalea Banks as an attack dog. Interesting. That's also interesting to me. Now, she's not your attack dog. She's, oof, woof, but she's also not your attack dog. So, that's it. I think the charts have people going crazy. I think I'm like, is the chart, are the charts symbols of good music? Are the Grammys symbols of good music? Cause she doesn't have, she lost both. Interesting. Interesting. So yeah, um, the charts have made people go insane during quarantine. We had the candy color pedophile saying all types of nonsense to Ariana Grande and none to Justin Bieber, it's fine. And then we have cherry emoji queen talking out of the side of her neck at three, four in the morning. I wonder where it's gonna go from here. I don't believe she's gonna delete it. I fully believe she stands like 100% behind her statement. And I like the point, If you, I had to read this like 10 times to find the point because it's hidden within microaggressions. Ha. Huh. 
point is a decent point. She's like, I should be able to make music about whatever I want to make music about. And it's like, you can. No one's stopping you. But you didn't need to bury it between comparing yourself to other artists who have overcome um, tenfold the obstacles that you have overcome. And this whole, I'm not like other girls, I'm somehow better because I don't sing about, I'm sorry, let me read it again. Being sexy, wearing no clothes, fucking cheating, etc. You're somehow better than them. Do you make better music? Oh, I'm sorry, that was rude. So that's the end of my video. Um, yeah. No more. These charts, they're crazy. It's crazy. Woo chow. Anyway, all I know is Doja Cat got her first number one. Nicki Minaj got her first number one decade later. Beyonce got 22. <laughs> 22. Megan's gonna get hers very, very soon. It'll be the last day. I will be, will we be getting her her number one? Absolutely. Ariana Grande's um, three, three. So I know who's winning in this arc. I know who's winning in this fight. Yeah, that's the end of my video. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like, I got so quiet again. So if you like to follow me on social media, here's my Twitter and my Instagram. Go have fun, go enjoy, go peruse, etc. Um, oh, in case anything else happened, I filmed this at um, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 21st, in case anything else happened. So like if something happened after this, I don't know because I, I, I filmed this previously, so yeah. That's the end of my video. I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe inside your homes and doing well despite, you know, the chaos of every day. And yeah, I'll thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.